Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be checking out who the new stranger is in-game. Because on the PC version, Rockstar actually added a new mission quest called To the Ends of the Earth. And it's actually pretty easy to discover this guy's location. In fact, you can run into him at the very start of Chapter 2. He's sort of located in the middle of the Heartlands, and if you approach his camp, this is what will happen. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. And nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Alright, so as you heard there, this guy's name is William, and he looks to be trying to find various plants scattered throughout the world and the first plant that this guy is looking for is yarrow so luckily for us yarrow is actually found in a ton of locations around where william is and you can find it pretty easily and it is distinguished by its bright red flowers so pretty much all you have to do is go somewhere nearby and uh, you can find yarrow and once you have the flowers, you can bring them to him, and this is what he will have to say. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. All right, so that was pretty wholesome. And for collecting four of those yarrow flowers... Our friend William here ends up giving us a horse reviver. So it's not like this mission is super lucrative, but it is really wholesome. And William seems like one of the nicest characters that you can actually run into. Now, I'm actually not sure if the per mission progresses any further than this. So I'd actually love to hear from you guys either in the comments down below or on my Facebook page. I have only run into this guy once, and it's been in chapter two. And I don't know where to find him next. Is he like Madame Nazar? Does he just appear in random areas? Do I have to progress to a different chapter? You guys can let me know in the comments down below or on my Facebook page because I'm not really too sure what happens next. He said that he would see us again, but I had tried to go all around the map and I had even slept for like a week in game still couldn't find him anywhere. Some people have reported that he is found near the mysterious hill home in the second encounter, 
but I checked there on plenty of occasions and never ended up finding him. Now, I don't think it's specific due to chapter because I also wanted to test if John Marston could find this guy, and it turns out that yes, even in 1907, John Marston can run into him as well. Hey there, friends. Come on. Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. John, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Okay. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? <laughs> Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. Okay. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. What do you want this stuff for anyway? I've been told it can promote the flowering of one's health. I suppose we'll find out what that means when you find some. Those plants may take some searching. I'd get started. Now, since I did this a second time as John, I also wanted to see what would happen if I was mean to William. I really hated doing this because he seems like such a good guy, but this is what happens if you actually antagonize him. I think this is what you're looking for. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. He was beating on me every day. I had no choice. Talk all you want, lady. You won't I know no you difference. like all this, but I can't square it. Seems like bunk to me. Try some of these recipes for yourself. You'll find they're anything but says the bunko artist. I don't like what you're implying, and I think I'd prefer you to lead now. Sorry, not sure what came over me. Guess I'm just having a bad day. I understand. It can be hard to believe. You know what the problem is for me? What's to say you aren't just a sad, lonely man trying to poison me? You sure are sad and lonely. What? Wait, you're serious? Leave me alone. I think we've seen enough of each other for one lifetime. Please leave. I said to leave, not go. Won't you listen to me? If you don't stop, I'll have to stop you myself. So that right there is the brand new mission quest in Red Dead Redemption 2 to the ends of the earth. Again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you know how to start the second part of the mission. Usually, if there's a second part of the mission, it will say like, you know, one, two, or three. This one in the mission log just says to the ends of the earth. 
and it says, having found the help he needed, William's studies are now underway. You might run into him again on your travels. So I think that there might not be another mission where there's a cutscene like that, but there might be another moment where he needs you to find, you know, another plant and he might give you, you know, instead of a horse reviver, he might give you some snake oil or a tonic or something like that. Who really knows? Again, I'd love to get your guys' help in the comments down below, so please let me know if you have found anything else down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.